Yo, what is going on everybody? It's Juan Solo here with A-Squad Gaming and welcome back to the channel. Thank you all so much for tuning in today for some more Tom Clancy's A Division 2. So in today's video, we're actually going to be going down through all of the content that we are expected to see next week in the Division 2 beta, which actually releases on February 7th and is going to be running through February 10th on all platforms. You just have to make sure that you pre-order any edition of the game to get guaranteed access to the beta. And for those of you guys that don't want to do that, you can head over to the Division 2 website and actually register over there with a chance to get drawn to be able to have access to the division 2 beta over those dates but without further ado guys let's jump right into the video and talk about what we're going to be seeing in the beta itself so first off we're going to be seeing two main missions that are actually going to be in the game straight out of the full game standard missions pretty straightforward nothing too crazy one of them is actually going to be in the grand washington hotel so we're going to have some long sight lines some close quarters kind of a variation of gameplay in that mission we don't have any details on the other mission but one of the cool things here we're actually going to be able to discover and upgrade a civilian settlement so this is going to work very similar to how the base of operations worked in the division one kind of when you first discovered it and then you had to go out collect materials do upgrades and stuff like that and in turn they would be able to help you more at the base of operations so this is going to be very similar to that but what they said was is you could actually discover and upgrade this civilian settlement which makes me to believe in the full game there's going to be multiples of these that we're going to be able to explore find and upgrade and use them to benefit our quest obviously in the division two next we're going to actually be able to experience a quite a bit of end game content with the first thing being one of the invaded missions which is going to be your end game top tier missions that you're going to be able to play once you reach max level and actually able to equip a specialization to your character and with that being said we're actually going to have access to the three end game specializations that we actually saw at the E3 reveal so I believe one of them was like the Grenadier the Sniper and then the I'm trying to remember what the other one was but uh, the base three that are going to be in the game we're actually going to have access access to in the Division 2 beta. With that being said, that makes me to believe that obviously once the game comes out and you progress down with some of the DLCs and updates and stuff, we're going to be seeing more end game specializations other than just those three because having access to the only three that we're going to have in the full game in the beta really doesn't make sense. So I would not be surprised that maybe at launch we have maybe four, maybe five, um, just to kind of throw that out there, unless they're really just kind of letting us see exactly what we'll be able to do with those specializations in the beta so we don't waste that once we get into the full game next we're actually going to be able to experience one of the three dark zones that's actually in the full game as well as 4v4 organized pvp so being the fact that there's actually only three maps and two modes that are going to be in the game at launch i really wouldn't think that they would show the entire thing off but if they don't that really doesn't give us a whole lot to play in the division 2 beta because if they give us like one game mode and one or two maps maybe that's still the majority of the content that we're going to actually going to be seeing at launch with the 4x4 organized pvp but only time will tell i'm really excited to play the dark zone play through the pve content that's going to be in the beta just kind of grind it out and kind of get a feel for how the game flows it is going to be a little bit different than division one just based off of some of the different changes that they've made from the division one to the division two also with the normalization in the pvp zones it's going to make the pvp in the dark zone much more competitive but overall guys that's pretty much going to do it for the video a rather short video but i wanted to give you guys all the details and stuff that we can expect from the division 2 beta like i said which launches next week on february 7th but like i said that's all for the video guys if you guys enjoyed it you guys found it helpful you guys are excited about the division 2 beta being right around the corner make sure to slap that like button and subscribe to the channel if you are new i'm going to be streaming this over on my twitch channel going to be streaming the division 2 beta exploring having fun maybe playing with some subscribers and stuff like that next weekend but also real quick before i end the video guys if you guys would love to go over and check out my twitch channel it's twitch.tv forward slash a squad gaming I actually just got my Twitch affiliate the other day, so I have a subscribe button. You can guys can do all sorts of cool stuff over there. I got some new emotes and all sorts of badges and stuff over there. Really excited to kind of progress through the through the ranks and stuff of Twitch and uh, kind of the road to the partnership now. But overall, guys, like I said, that's going to do it for the video. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.